Now, before we end this section, let's take an example of an confusion matrix of 165 samples. So we have 165 samples from this 165 samples. We have created this uh, confusion matrix and then we will manually try to find out the accuracy, precision, recall, F1 score and then check out how close we are and how good of a model R is. So this is and confusion matrix okay so let's write out the true positive false negative and everything so actual no and predicted no so these are true negative okay that is our model predicted uh, these are the predicted values and these are the actual values okay so true negatives are 50 actual yes and predicted yes so these are true positives now actual yes and predicted no so it is true uh, false negative and then we have actual no and predicted yes so these are false positive okay so it predicted yes but actually it was false now let's start with finding out the accuracy so accuracy we know is the total of the correct observations that we have got what are the correct that is tn plus tp by all samples or let's write n so t and tp are the ones that we have predicted correctly so 100 by uh, 50 plus 100 by 165 that is 150 by 165 so we get uh, nearly 0 0.91 which is 91 percent so our model is 91 percent accurate and we can say that we have done a good job over here now just the opposite of it if anybody says in interview or someplace you have to find the error rate so the error rate is just the opposite of it that is fn plus fp by your n so it would be uh, 15 by 165 okay, let's just create a space and that will be 0.9 so we have a 9% error rate in our model. Now let's find out the precision. So precision is true positive. So what is our true positive? True positive is 100. And then uh, divided by true positive plus false positive. So false positive is 10. So 100 by 110. So if we divide 100 divided by 110, we will be getting close to 0 0.9 0 so this is the precision let's check out our recall so our recall is true positive again true positive is 100 by true positive plus false negative so that is 10 100 by 105 100 by 105 is uh, somewhere near to 95% that is 0 0.95 now let's find out the f1 score f1 score is 2 into and if you could just recall we had precision into recall in the top so uh, 0 0.90 into 0 0.95 by 0 0.90 plus 0 0.95 so if we multiply it so it will be uh, let's check it out 0 0.90 into 0 0.95 it's 0.855 by let's add them out so 0 0.90 so 0 0.185 something 1.85 something let's check this out so 1.85 we have let's divide them out 0 0.55 0 0.85 divided by 1.85 we get 2 into 0 0.46 then the f1 score at the end will be your 0 0.46 into 2 that so that is your f1 score so we have a precision of 90% recall of 0 0.95 and the f1 score is quite the same thing so that is how you can get all the values uh, of our model and that is how accurate our model is
that's it for this video you have known everything that you should be knowing out on how to evaluate your machine learning model now let's jump into our first ever algorithm that is logistic regression